Good day everyone and welcome to day 269, turn 269 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We got the first look at Ahsoka today. Oh, sorry, wrong one. We got the first look at Ashoka today. And this leader will come with two personas, the more peace-loving world renouncer Ashoka, or the brother murderer world conqueror Ashoka. The world renouncer leader bonus gives plus one food in all cities for every five excess happiness as well as 10% food in all settlements during a celebration. And the second part, it's worded in a slightly confusing way, all buildings gain plus one happiness adjacency for all improvements. I interpret that to mean all buildings gain plus one happiness for every adjacent improvement, but I could be misreading that. Moving on, as you'd expect, the World Conqueror persona is a little more on the aggressive side with plus one production instead of food for every five happiness and plus 10% production in settlements he did not found. His other bonus is that units gain plus 10 combat strength against districts during a celebration. Okay, not bad. But declaring a formal war instantly grants a celebration. So this guy just gets a straight up plus 10 combat strength bonus on all of his units when declaring wars. That seems rather strong. Regardless, you can read uh, all this in detail on Ashoka's game guide page, which is up now. I'll link it down below. They also decided to shadow reveal Persia in this first look. This would mean we've now got, uh, in theory, all 10 antiquity era sieves revealed. Uh, note, they don't have a game guide page yet, so I had to employ a little artistic license here to give you the authentic experience. And before anyone asks, no, Ursa did not draw this for me, otherwise it would be way better, obviously. But team, picture this, it's the 11th of February next year, you're going to be downloading the game slowly if you've got Australian internet, Bam, it's ready, you're going to open the game, you're going to hit set up game, and these are the civs you're going to be choosing from to start your first game of Civilization 7. Pretty good stuff. Who do you think you'll be playing first? Let me know in the comments. Uh, for me, I'm leaning towards either the Maya or old reliable Rome. As more exploration and modern age civs get revealed, and we can see more synergistic paths open up, it's only going to get more exciting, and I'll probably decide then, so I can't wait. We got a twofer today, actually, with the game guide for the Chola being released as well. This Exploration Age Civ focuses heavily on trade, as in pretty much every sentence here involves the word gold or trade route in it, so go give it a read for the full details. But I will pick up on one little tidbit dropped in here. Uh, the Chola's unique civilian unit is the Otru, a unique naval commander. So it's pretty well confirmed that each age is going to have a different commander unit for the troop type that is most prevalent to that age. An army commander for land units in the antiquity era, a naval commander for the exploration age, and likely an air commander for the modern age. Keen to see what some of their abilities are, noting that commanders look like they'll have a mix of wartime and peacetime capabilities. That's all I've got for you today. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching.